So, forget the DJI. It's overheating all time. Not reliable, so I will not take it with me. I'm now filming with my Sony S10 Mini again. Don't buy DJI. Overheating problems. Okay, here in Dubai it's hot, of course. But you see my smartphone is working. My smartphone is not a camera, so they can do it. DJI cannot do it. Maybe the processor is overheating because they choose the wrong processor technology. They should choose the ARM Cortex processor. It uses less power and it's not overheating. And it's powerful. Yeah, I ended with explaining what I have to do to get an official Dubai Emirates ID residency. I need to make a medical checkup. They take my blood and I got an X-ray. The X-ray was to detect tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a topic here in Europe. It's gone since I don't know how many centuries. So I'm here in the old city. I try to figure out the best place to live. Of course, the Samsung don't have a D-shaker, so the footage is shaky now. But a shaky footage is better than no footage. So, this is an antique thing looks very nice and a mosque of course this really reminds me to Bangkok small streets and this flower type this is like Chinatown in Bangkok How are you? Very good, you thank you. One? No thanks. Excuse me. Not yet, not yet. It's really like in Bangkok. They all call me spicy. They are so right. The ladies know it. Oh, here's air condition. So, this is the old city of Dubai. It has more flair than the modern shopping malls. I love this. Now I have to look on Google Maps where I am to join here later again. So, Google Maps showed me where I am. No streets marked, nothing. I'm in the no man's land. 
in the north of the Dubai Museum, between the Dubai Museum and the river. It's very interesting. Here's the river. the name not my head my jacket with an kapuze I don't know the name in English hoodie it's called in English I'm wearing my hoodie against the sun As you know, I'm a sailor, so I always have to go near the water. I will go to the water now and have a small boat trip. I heard it's very cheap. I need water under my feet. First of all, Little India. flying carpets. Every carpet is flying in the Arabic, in the Arabic countries. Here you know Dubai from this. The most taken photo in Dubai. But I think this has more charm than in than the Burj Khalifa. Hey, sir. Here are old towers from the fortresses. And here is the water. This reminds me truly to Bangkok. This is a real modern world. Not so loud like in Thailand. So I'm on the water again, it was a long time ago in Limassol sailing. Here's the captain, this guy in blue.
lives with coal or something like that. That's all for now. One dirham, it's about 25 cent. It's quite cheap for Dubai. In Bangkok, you can go about one and a half hour for 30 cent if you know how to. But it's a nice trip. I love the sea, as you know. The water, the waves, the shaking of the boat. nearly a crash. Crash pilots are not always in Limassol. Here's the Burj Khalifa. This cost 20 dirham, so 50 cents. It's a little bit more far away. I think this is salt water from the ocean, not a river. Tell me that's all. That was all. Too much for two dirham. So nice old buildings, noodle bar, I show you now where I am, in which city, there are still some people who don't know where Dubai is.
No tourists at all. I'm really wondering why. Everything is empty. I was just at this nice noodle house. Very delicious. 25 euro. The sales here is really nice. Oh, here's an historic escalator. So, I think the old city has not so much videos. Starbucks. Maybe I go here for work every day.
sorry for the shaking, my DJI was better, but if the DJI is not working, it makes no sense to continue. Good, I will visit Starbucks now. I need a coffee. So, my coffee is done. Iced coffee, not soya latte and with shit, normal iced coffee. Guess what this small bucket costs? It's, I don't know how much, liters. Oh, Mr. Gerard. It's a double shot iced shaken white, white cocoa latte mocha. Oh shit. Guess what it costs? Guess in the comment section. But please uh, guess a high price. You will be shocked. It's my most expensive coffee. Even the coffees in the restaurants. Yeah, here it's tourist town. But the buildings are quite nice. It reminds me a little bit to the Fantasialand in Brühl. It's in Leisurement Park. And they are building this fake stuff too. Here DHL, some Germans. Okay, this was a small round. See you on the water. So no, no little boat tour now. It goes in 40 minutes. I have to walk now. Here you see some bad splicing work. It's spliced, but the ends are not inside. A nice building. It looks like a mosque. I don't know with a helipad. Looks nice. Everything is green. Please tell me in the comment section what this building is. If you are a tourist, I highly recommend this area here. On Google Streets, street map, there is no street. But you see between the houses, this is the Bangkok, China city-like area I showed you before. It's very interesting. Not about the shops, but the Architecture and it reminds me to ancient times where the streets are very narrow to have shadow everywhere, like in Egypt. Here you see where I am. Here I was at the first time, so I'm not repeating the video. A 
that's all for now. Here was the first bus stop with line number one. There is a round trip boat for 60 dirham. I took two boats, one dirham and two dirham. But the second boat didn't go back, so maybe the round trip is a better alternative. You cannot wait for every boat. If a boat has a difference from 30 minutes from one to another boat, so maybe you would take the round trip for 60 dirham with other lines here C1, C, CR5, CR2, CR4 if you add it up you are under 60 dirham but if you pay 60 dirham you get a round trip you have to choose so have fun when you are going here but don't keep out the old city don't visit only the shopping malls i go now to the hotel working see you next time